Section 17 of Wessex Poems by Thomas Hardy. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Libby Gone. San Sebastian, August 1813, with thoughts of Sergeant M. Pensioner, who died 1850 something. Why, Sergeant, stray on the Ival Way, as though at home there were spectres rife? From first to last was a proud career, and your sunny years with a gracious wife have brought you a daughter dear. I watched her to-day, a more comely maid as she danced in her muslin bowed with blue, round Hintock Maypole never gayed. Ay, ay, I watched her this day too, as it happens, the sergeant said. My daughter is now, he again began, of just such an age as one I knew, when we of the line and forlorn hope van on an august morning a chosen few stormed san sebastian she's a score less three so about was she the maiden i wronged in peninsular days you may prate of your prowess in lusty times but as years gnaw inward you blink your bays and see too well your crimes we'd stormed it at night by the blanker light of burning towers and the mortar's boom we topped the breach but had failed to stay our files were misled by the baffling gloom and we said we'd storm by day so out of the trenches with features set on that hot still morning in measured pace our column climbed climbed higher yet past the fosbray scarp up the curtain face and along the parapet from the battened hornwork the cannoneers hove crashing balls of iron fire on the shaking gap mount the volunteers in files and as they mount expire amid curses groans and cheers five hours did we storm five hours reform as death cooled those hot blood pricked on till our cause was helped by a woe within they swayed from the summit we leapt upon and madly we entered in on end for plunder mid rain and thunder that burst with the lull of our cannonade we vamped the streets in stifling air our hunger unsoothed our thirst unstayed and ransacked the buildings there down the stony steps of house fronts white we rolled rich puncheons of Spanish grape, till at length, with the fire of wine alight, I saw at a doorway a fair, fresh shape, a woman, a sylph or sprite. A fear she fled, and with heated head I pursued to the chamber she called her own, when might is right no qualms deter, and having her helpless and alone, I wreaked my will on her she raised her beseeching eyes to me and i heard the words of prayer she sent in her own soft language seemingly i copied those eyes for my punishment in begetting the girl you see so to-day i stand with god-sent brand like cain's when he wandered from kindred's ken i served through the war that made europe free i wived me in peace here but hid from men I bear that mark on me, and I nightly stray on the Ival way, as though at home there were spectres rife. I delight me not in my proud career, and tis coals of fire that a gracious wife should have brought me a daughter dear. End of section seventeen.